In this video, I'm making an updated version of how to make custom eyelid textures for Inklings and Octolings. And why am I making an updated version? Well, because since then, we have new Splatoon models in SFM. The textures are a little bit different, so I'm gonna show you how to do it with the version 2 models. So first of all, we're gonna right-click and add a new model, then search for Inkling... Yeah, Inkling Girl, I guess. Then pick which one you want. Here we have it. So the difference is, instead of having a separate texture for the eyelids, the eyelids and the whole skin texture are all the same. So unfortunately, if you made eyelid textures before, I don't think they're gonna work with the new ones. But I'm gonna show you also how to kinda convert your old textures to the new ones. But anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is get our textures. So we're gonna right click, show game model in explorer, and that will show us where the model is, and then we can more easily find the textures. So as you can see, it's in Workshop Models, Props Platoon 2, and Inkling Girl. So we don't want models, we want textures. So we need to go to Workshop, then go to materials instead, then go to uh, their models, then props Splatoon 2, because we're using the new models instead of props Splatoon. So then Inkling Girl, and here Inkling Girl body.vtf. So this is the texture we're gonna edit, but first we also need VTF edit. So go to Google and search for VTF edit, or just go down in the description of this video and click on the link. So when you're here, just scroll down, and download it here. So now I'm gonna assume you've done that, so then you can either open up VTF Edit and drag it in, or if you have the little icon here, you can just double click on it to open it. So here we have it, and if we click full screen, we can see the whole texture, and as you can see, here are the eyelids. And if you're familiar with the old textures, you know this rectangle is exactly the same as the old one, except this one is uh, bundled in the skin texture. But anyway, what we need to do is just Control c to copy, or click up here, copy, then go to your editing program, which in my case is paint.net, and also if you don't have any editing program, uh, you can also download paint.net in the description. Now we're gonna press Control v to paste it, or up here, paste, and then expand canvas. So now we have the skin texture plus the eyelids. So we're gonna press deselect up here, so now we can edit the texture, and for this video I'm gonna show you how to paste in your old texture, because I don't have time to explain or show how to design good eyelids. Okay, I found these. I think uh, I made these for, like, uh, the old thumbnail, so <laughs> that's kind of fun. Since I just opened it outright, I get a new project up here, and that will make it easier. We can just copy it by Ctrl C, and then we can go back to this one, and then press Ctrl V to paste it in. And then we can simply drag it down, hold control and scroll to zoom. And then we can align it, if we zoom in a bit more, align it with the edge here, like that. So, this should be, as you can see, this should be aligned. If we zoom in, uh, I mean zoom out, and deselect, and that is it. If we go back in history to where we just pasted it in, we can see that it looks exactly the same except that we have our new custom texture. So that means it'll work perfectly fine, but I can also show how to do some simple uh, eyelids. So zoom in again, preferably make a new layer, then pick the line and curve tool, and then just make a line here, I guess, curve it a bit, then make a new one, and then I'm gonna use my eraser to make it a bit sharper, and then fill in the rest. So now I want it on the other side as well, so to easily do that, we can duplicate the layer here, go to layers, and uh, flip horizontal, and then it'll show up right here. And then we can simply just pick this tool, the Move Selected Pixels tool, and simply drag it all the way here. And it's easy to align it because we want this line to be aligned right here. And then same right here. So that will be perfect. And then deselect. And now we've edited the texture. So now we need to merge all the layers. And now we're gonna press Ctrl C again, go back to VTF Edit, and press Ctrl V. And then we'll get this window, and just press OK. So then we can click File, Save As, and save it somewhere. And I'm just gonna save it on my desktop. Very Pog Eyelids. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then save. And that's it! So now we need to put it in SFM. So open up your file explorer, and for most people, it's in the regular OS disk. Then Program 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you'll find Source Filmmaker. But I have my Steam library in another disk, so as you can see, for me, it's Steam library, Steam Apps, Common. It's almost the same. So check your regular OS disk first. Then we come to game, and it technically doesn't matter that much where we save it, but I'd suggest saving it in user mod. 
materials, models, and then make a folder here, so it's easier to keep track of everything. I already have a folder, so I'm just gonna use mine. And then I'm gonna just drag it in. And now we can delete it and test it out. So open SFM again. You shouldn't have to restart SFM, but if something messes up, try restarting. So now we're just gonna right click, add override materials, then right click again, show in admin viewer, model, then expand materials, and then go to just the top one, inkling girl body. And then we're gonna right click, add attribute, uh, string, and then type in dollar sign, whoops, not, <laughs> not pound, uh, dollar sign base texture and now we're gonna type in the path which is in my case then models backslash falalver backslash whatever the texture is so very pog eyelids so i'm gonna type in models backslash falalver backslash very pog eyelids and there we go! Look at that! I forgot to mention, if you want to do this on different skin tones, you don't have to do any extra work. But you might think, oh, if I change skin tone, like, bam, it doesn't work, the eyelids aren't there. You only have to do one thing. If you right-click, show an element viewer, model, expand materials, all you have to do is paste in the path for uh, one of these. So I'm just gonna copy the one up here, bam, control C, then I think it's uh, this one. So right-click, add attribute, string, Dollar sign, base texture. Okay, that is not the right one, so we can delete it. I think it's this one, probably. Base texture. Yep, okay, it's that one. Okay, so then we can just paste it in. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So you don't have to create like another texture just to have a different skin tone. You can use the same one, which is very handy. So now we can enjoy our masterpiece. <laughs> okay, so that's how to make custom eyelid textures for the new models. So if you've seen the old tutorial, you know this process is basically the same, but just that one texture difference that the skin texture and the eyelid texture is merged into one. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you want to see me cover something else, let me know down in the comments. And that's everything I have to say. So thanks so much for watching, and bye!